My job tonight is to help power the projectors for the screening. I'm one of the cyclists powering the projector. This is so cool. Yeah, I'm really excited about it, especially to have this many people cycling and participating at the same time. You know, so they're getting, they're here for the screening, they're watching it, and they're participating in making it happen. I've never done an event on this scale. I've powered a blender before with a bicycle. That's about as far as I've gone. So all the bikes are hooked up to generators, and that's why we have this many bikes tonight is because we need to power the big projector. And um, this way everyone can ride at a more leisurely pace and not have to hustle and, and really sprint. When it, I've powered um, speakers before when it was just three bikes, and you have to, like, you have to mash on it really hard. So this is nice because everyone can leisurely pedal for 45 minutes and watch the TV show. <laughs> they contacted me and asked me to find a bunch of riders for tonight. And uh, I was a former bike messenger in New York City for five years, so I know a lot of bike messengers. And um, I pretty much was like, hey, do you guys want to watch a TV show and ride a bike? And they were like, no problem. 45 minutes is like, no problem. So we have some... We have a bunch of messengers. We have some bike ad, uh, bicycle advocates from Times Up, which is like a New York City advocacy group for cycling in the city. When I when I put out the the posting for it, I did. I was I said you have to be able to ride for two hours straight without passing out. So those are only the people here are people who are cyclists. Um, but the the resistance on the bike isn't too hard. I mean, honestly, anyone could do it for a short amount of time and we will have like volunteers cycling out on the other side anyone can try it so um people get to participate in what they're what they're watching right now it's not just a it's not it's no longer is it like tv on your screen and you sit on your couch and eat popcorn like you take part in this well i think this is a great way to present the very first episode of revolution because it is a green power source we're, we're sourcing all the power for the premiere with the bikes and yeah um what would happen if all the power went out in the world you know what would we have to do so this is one way that people can start to look at alternative energy sources <laughs> if the power went out first of all i'd freak out because my i couldn't charge my computer anymore and i rely on my macbook so <laughs> but um after that i mean i i ride a bike in new york city every day so um Short of not being able to use my, my iPhone and my and my laptop, I think I'd be okay. You know, I've uh, I've had some friends who've like tinkered with you know making their own uh, bicycle power generators and things like that. And I know that people have been doing it for a while now. I mean, it's been at least a decade where people have been searching for alternative power sources. The problem is you need everyone to come together and kind of work together to get enough power, especially for an event like this.